Hello everyone, my name is Otavio Santana and today let's talk about MicroStream. Why should you learn about it and how can I make your application ultra fast with this persistent solution? Okay, the first question is why? Why should I use MicroStream instead of another solution? The idea behind MicroStream is to reduce the data conversion. What happens usually is I have my application, I do need to do a conversion to from Java objects, and the main goal of MicroStream is to reduce especially because MicroStream will handle that with a particular serialization process. As you can see here, it's a regular application where I have my Java objects uh, themed with relational database such as Postgres or MySQL or even NoSQL such as Cassandra or MongoDB. I have my layer of conversion here to or from my Java object, and then finally my persistence layer or my persistence tire. So it might be SQL or no SQL solution. What matters is it consumes a lot of CPU power. The main idea of MicroStream is to eliminate this layer here doing a faster conversion to from Java. So, move on to the next page. Everything here that I'm saying is in the website. The main goal is to eliminate the mapping conversion. Right now, I have my application, I have my object graph where I don't need to do the conversion. And yes, I do have my microstream solution. It's a tiny layer to do the serialization to from Java objects. And I am able to integrate with any kind of persistence targets. Can I use a banner data? Yes. Can I use any cloud service around Blockstar like Amazon S3? Yes. Oh wait, can I use a relational database? Yes, sure. No SQL? Yes. Stream processing, yes, as well. MicroStream, you handle the conversion for you, decreasing the processing and the mapping process. As you can see here, the bullets saves a lot of CPU power, the infrastructure costs, and of course, simplify the architecture. Okay, let's start the work with code. Right now, I have a simple Maven project where I will integrate MicroStream with CDI. However, if you wish to use with Spring Micronaut, uh, you're able to use too. I will cover only with CDI because with CDI, you are able to integrate with uh, micro profile vendors and Jakarta EE vendors. But anyway, the skeleton of the integration will be the same. The first step of our integration is to create an entity. In this case, I will use a book entity. So I will create a book where it will have an ID a name, a title, an author. In this case, I only able to have just one author, but you got the idea. And then release. Usually, with book, we only use the year of the release, so I will repl replicate that on my domain. So release, release. MicroStream has a recommendation to use and explore the immutability of our entity. Therefore, you should, as much as you can, use 
immutable entity here. So I have my book. That will be a final ID. Oops. A final title. A final author. And yes, a final list. I will create my constructor. And yes, if you are able to use Java 17, it's a good candidate just for the records feature. Okay, uh, I will create my constructor. I will put the getters here. Um, I will create my equals hash code. In this case, I will only use the ID to define because on my business the ID is the core hash code and finally I will create using my ID a oops no a two string method so I can here then I create the two string Done. I have my immutable entity. The next step is to create a builder to make the creation easier. If you are using uh, IntelliJ as an ID, it will make your life easier. I just get here. I just did the replace constructor with builder. And here you go. I have my constructor. What can I do? I usually overwrite this one here because once it is a book builder, it will build only a book. Microstrings needs a structure hook or a collection to represent my entity. In this case, once I have a book entity, I will create my collection as library. So I can here. I have my library. Yes, it's my repository. If you wish, you're able to call a book repository. But once it makes more sense to my business, to my domain, to call that library, I will use that. This structure hood is able to handle with that collection only with Java. Hey, Otavio, how about the serialization process? Don't worry. Microstream will handle that for you. So I have my set of book here, my books, immutable immutability. I try as much as possible. This one here will be a final. I will create a constructor. I will define a hash set. Uh, in this case, I will have only two methods. One, where I will add a new book. So, book, new book. I will make sure this book is valid. Right now, I will only uh, check if that's new or not. In this case, no. I, I will only put the book here. And I will believe that the service will handle the whole business rule for me. And then I will return as list. So I have my book here. I add my book. And then I will return this book as books methods. Or in this case, get books methods. Return this books string. And then I will convert to a modifiable list. And that is it. Right now I have my library structure. This one here, who gonna handle is microstream. How can I do that? If I come here, I will put the storage annotation. And that is it. From now on, Microstrings will handle this uh, hood structure 
in this case aggregator hood if you or a repository for me. The next step is to create a service where it will handle the business rule and send a message to the, my repository, in this case my library class. I will come here, I will create my book service where once I'm using CDI, I will define as application scoped. I will inject my library here, as you see. I will inject using my inject annotation. And then I will do my operation. So public void as book book. And then I will return the list of book here. Get books. Oops, not you, but this dot library dot get books. At my steps here, my ad book, I will do a couple of validations. But to make this video simpler and easier to understand, I will only check if the book is new or not new. So objects require not new book and then book is required. After is valid, I will add my book here. The next step I need to define this one needs a conversion from microstream. It might be some change inside my structure. To make it possible, I have the store annotation. I come here, I put store. And that is it. Right now, I have my book service ready for use. Okay, right now, I will create a book here. So the first one will be my book, where I have my book builder. Oops, I forgot something. I have my builder here. But I usually put a static method to call the builder. So public book builder, oops, builder, and then I will return, oops, new book builder, and here I will create. Uh, not public constructor and the idea is to deprecate this method so the, the main goal to create book is from this method stack method builder so probably I forget something let's return here again oh yes I forget to put the static here right now I'm able to use book builder and then I need to set the information ID, I will use the UUID here. The, the title will be persistence layer. The author is me, so Octavio Santana or the release hopefully might be next year so 2023 and that is it right now we have our first book let's create a second one this one here will be the clean codes Clean codes, the author 
is Uncle Bob. The year I don't remember. I will use 2015. Oops. But to be honest, I don't remember. And I don't want to check. It's just as simple. So don't be rushed with that. Once I have my two empties, I will use my service to store this information. So I'll have my book service here. I will inject using CDI. So as you can see, I have my SE container. It is a feature from CDI 2.0 or higher. So select book service, where are you? And then get. And right now I will insert my my books service at the clean code one service at the book and finally I will um, return this information using my classic output so the results is Uh, where are you? Status get books. Let's run. While it's running, the question that might have in your mind is where is the configuration or the settings? To make it simple, as I mentioned, I'm using only the structure as data physically where as you can see here I put on my targets data when it you it you will create when I come here it will start and create my application from no application but my data here as you can see I have my targets my data folder and right now I have four channels as you can see here and here you go it started the CDI container there's the lock where it shows some configuration it found one empty where that's why we put this library storage here and then it's run okay we're done with that Let's of course test. I will comment the ad and it should return the information. Okay, I will run again. I know fireworks, it's a life of the YouTube sometimes. It will start again. It should return my information that I inserted. In the first time that I'm on the same publication, it starts found the library using the start notation. It should check if everything is okay and then run again. And as you can see, the result is the clean code book and then Octavio Santana's book that might release next year. Hey Otavio, but I don't like the idea to store the data information from my local machine. Of course, it's not a good idea. If you go to the documentation on Microsoft, you are able to see the storage targets, where you are able to choose different types of targets. If you want to use SQL database, Microsoft has support to MariaDB, Oracle, PostgreSQL, SQLite, Blog Store, Amazon with DynamoDB or Amazon S3, Azure Store, Hazelcast, Kafka, and each one has a configuration and an extension to you be able to use. Okay? That's all for today. Thank you. Hopefully, you enjoy and see you soon.